right, welcome back everyone. This is the Happy Toolbox. And this week I'll be showing you a quick tip on how you can use native background C4D objects with Octane and have them actually register. This is really straightforward, but it frustrated me enough. I figured I'd make a tutorial on it. Um, if you already know how to do this, maybe give the video a thumbs up anyway, so we can share in our pain together. All right, let's hop in. So I've got this bottle in here. I'm liking where the lighting is set up, etc. But I have this piece of reference artwork that I want to show up in the background so I can line my bottle up against it and make sure I'm getting the composition I want based upon this art. I have a background object in here already with a texture on it. Um, currently, if I turn off the floor and I turn off the sky object, you can see in the Cinema 4D viewport, it's currently there. But you can see in the Octane render view, even though I turned off those two things, for some reason it is not there. So the easy way to fix this is, I'm going to add a Octane object tag on the floor just to kind of hide that for now. Obviously that will get in the way of a background object. I'm gonna turn my sky back on so I have the same lighting. So you can see I've hid the floor, I have black. Again, I'm not seeing the background object. So what I need to do is go into your Octane settings, and if you click alpha channel, you can see through that background that Octane kind of makes for itself, and you can actually see your reference artwork. So I can start getting my composition exactly how I want it to be. All right, so that's it. Hopefully it helped you out. Again, just click that alpha channel checkbox on and off to see background objects. If you'd like this video and subscribe to the channel, that help us out a ton. And as always, if you're interested in any 3D model packs, including this little soda bottle as part of our convenience pack, head on over to thehappytoolbox.com. All right, I'll see you next time.